Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly videos right here on my YouTube channel and in this hand embroidery video I'm teaching you how to make a French knot. Alright, so now we're going to learn how to do the French knot and these little nuggets that you see down here are all little knots and I made them in increasing wraps around my needle so you can see the size difference. So the more wraps around your needle, the bigger the little knot is going to be. So this was one wrap around the needle, this was two, this was three, which is traditionally what a French knot is, and this was four. I'm using a craft thread here that is about the equivalent of six strands of embroidery floss, so this is quite thick. Usually in patterns, they will have you using two or three strands and will have you do the French knot with three turns around. Just to give you another sample of what a French knot would look like, the sample is not finished, but you can see how you can add them to create like little embellishments to your hand embroidery projects. So let's do a French knot. I have my thread on my needle. I'm going to come up from behind. All right. And now I'm going to take my left hand. So at this point, I like to put the hoop down on a, on a flat surface. So I have the thread in my left hand and I'm holding it over to the side just to give it some tension. Don't pull it too, too hard. And then I have my needle in the other hand. The thread that's coming out from the embroidery hoop in the fabric, I'm gonna use that to wrap around my needle one time, okay? And once you wrap it once, notice I'm still holding the thread with this left hand. I'm gonna bring it down to the tip of my needle so I can get that needle in super duper close to where I initially came up at, okay? Now, if you can see closely there, there's a little knot right down near the fabric. If that knot slides up on you, you're gonna to wanna to hold it down close to your fabric because that's where you want the knot, right? You don't want it to be flopping around. You want it nice and tight, close to the fabric. Now I'm gonna hold it. I'm holding the little knot there with my left hand and I'm gonna pull with my right. And you can see that nice little tight French knot that we got real nice and close to the, to the, to the fabric. So pull it nice and tight so it lays right on the surface and it's not flopping on you. Let's do another one and let's wrap it around twice. So I'm coming up from the back my left hand, I pull the thread off to the side and give it some tension. Bring the tip of my needle in and wrap the thread around my needle. Let's do once and twice. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm still applying tension so that the knots are tied up and they're on the needle. I'm gonna slide it down, bring that needle right close to where it's coming out from my fabric so it's nice and close. And don't let go of this one just yet. If you do, just make sure it's to hold the knot close to the fabric and then pull your thread to the back while you're holding that knot in place and there's your knot. So you can see that was one wrap and that was two. Alright, so let's do a traditional French knot which is with three wraps. I'm coming up from behind, apply some tension on this thread with my left hand, wrap it three times around and you can see the three wraps on the needle right there. When I apply that tension it brings them tight and close together so that's what's creating your little knot and then I'm gonna bring it in close. Oops, let's try it again. One, two, three. I apply some tension so it brings them in close. And now real carefully come in with the tip of your needle close to where the thread is coming out. And now with this hand, I'm gonna apply the tension to tighten those stitches back up and get it to be nice and close to the layer of fabric that we have there and being careful to not pull the knot through when you're working with the bulkier threads. Just give it a nice quick pull, and there you have a nice French knot with three wraps. And that's how simple it is to make your French knots. You can use one, two, three, or however many wraps around your needle that you want to. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make French knots in a few different sizes. Give it some practice, and you'll be ready to use it in your next project. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.